Hello everyone, welcome back on my channel Lesson Plan Corner. Today in this video, we are basically going to see what is gender and we are going to see few introduction, a few definition regarding that characteristics of gender and nature of gender. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do like and subscribe my channel because on my channel, you are going to get videos as well as pdf also so if you need a pdf all you have to do is you just have to comment me in the comment section below now let's just get started let's see what is meant by gender so let's see what is gender first if we need to know that gender is totally different from sex because gender basically is a kind of role that has been given by society to men and women so basically we can say that there are two types of uh, gender like men and women we categorize ourselves whether we are men or women so society has a kind of you know society has uh, many types of uh, uh, opinion uh, that what what should be the role of man and what should be the role of women gender basically is not a natural because it is constructed by society how it is constructed by society we are going to see in the video in this video okay so we can say that gender is not the same as sex okay many men are there men are there who actually feel from inside that they are women okay so we cannot say through physical appearance and we cannot guess guess through basically from physical appearance so to understand this concept well we will see some definitions also of this so here you can see few definition according to Crandall L L L gender is the state of being male or female we can categorize gender under male or female men or women according to who gender refers to socially constructed characteristics of women and men such as norms and roles like society has given many roles to women society what society says that household work should be done only by women not for men and men is more suitable for physical work and outdoor work so this type of rules and norms that has been constructed by society so we can call it gender it is not biological it is construct by society now let's see let's see what is characteristics of gender now let's see characteristics of gender first it is social uh, so it is social because it is not uh, biological, it is not given by nature, um, but it is constructed by society. Society has thoughts and, uh, and rules that has been set by them, like that has been set by society. What society says is men and women both are different from each other and women are uh, like, you know, weak in comparison of men and there are many uh, duties that has been given to women like household works and uh, all the um, all the like you know responsibility of family usually uh, you know uh, has been given to women and society says that men is more uh, you know good in mental abilities and outdoor things and you know uh, they are good at you know handling all the course all the work or you know outside work so basically gender is socially constructed it is not biological now let's see second point so here you can see characteristics number two that is difference what is difference between masculine masculine and feminine masculine means basically men men male sex plus masculine role is equal to men and female sex plus feminine is equal to women now third is learned so learned means basically sex is a natural process or biological but gender is not biological or natural process but it has been given by society uh, and gender means basically there are many traits that you know and, and women and uh, men has been categorized according to their traits and behavior 
but you will see you can see many men are there who actually feels like they are women from inside so we cannot say that if a man looks like a man from outside then he uh, we can call themselves as a man but it actually depends on the individual what he wanna or what she wanna call themselves fourth is rule of religion so religion also has many kind of you know rule that has been given to women like in we can say in hindu religion manuscript man, what manusmriti says that women should be under under control of a man and quran sharif says that women should be under burqa all the time so this has been kind of you know a rule or a restriction we can say by the by the books by the religious books or we can say society also now let's say associated with roles so gender is basically associated with their given roles like men are supposed to do physical work like society has this thing in their mind that you know men can do all the work that actually need a kind of intelligence or mind and women are good at household work and they can look after their uh, you know children's only so this role has been assigned by only society we can say now associate with clothes so gender is also associated with clothes that men and women wears means we have like different dress from men and from of women also men usually wears t-shirt jeans or whatever and women they have different type of and dresses that they wear so they, these dresses also differentiate between men and women now seventh is may not match with sex so gender is not necessarily you know are supposed to match with the sex like suppose there there is there can be uh, there can be a boy who actually like to do all girlish things or he may have all those feminine traits like he um, he maybe his interest are different from other men's maybe he has uh, you know women traits in them feminine traits in them maybe he like to sweep house or to work and to talk like girls etc so we can say and vice versa for girls also many, many girls are there who actually uh, have that masculine traits in them so we can say that sex and gender both are different from each other and both are not associated with each other both are different you know so this are this is this was for today if you like this video then please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and for pdf please do comment me in the comment section below we will meet in next video till then bye bye and take care